what's going on guys what's going on terror squad to all my walking dead supporters subscribers watchers um we are here today to we're in season two just gonna do episode four last week i didn't do any a walking dead we took a break because game of thrones was coming out took a break from from all the tv shows um if you didn't like it too bad um it happened now we're here <laughs> so um yes the walking dead so what has been happening we have rick and um and Lori watching over their son the the um they had to do um they were about to do the 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 surgery um without all the equipment that Shane was going to the high school with with Otis to come back with um right so my issue with the whole thing, um, Shane got there right on time, right? So it was like, we, I didn't know what happened to Otis. Um, and then they showed it because there was this, this, this feeling, this, he, he was not, he was acting out of character. And I was like, it was just, I was taking it as just a poorly poor acting towards what was happening. You get what I'm saying? Then it turns out to be that, you know, he was feeling some sort of way about what he did to Otis, right? And there was a lot of comments. There was a lot of comments on that video saying that, um, you know, the way out, the, the way out things went down and you know what I'm saying? Like some people was, was saying they would have done the same thing and all this. Stuff. And this is my stance on that. Okay. This is my stance on it. Um, and somebody also made this point in the comment section also we talking about, they had enough time to escape. They did. They really did. <laughs> they really did had enough time. To escape, he needed a distraction so that he could escape um, for free, right? Well, well, escape freely, I should say, not for free, right? So he made the executive decision to take out Otis, or to kill, or to hamper him, to um, so that the zombies, the walk, the walkers can concentrate on eating Otis and you would have some time to go. Now, mind you, the whole tussle that happened, that whole tussle took about two to three minutes, right? That whole tussle that we were watching, him, Otis hanging onto his leg and, and, and all of that. After this man done pretty much sacrifice himself for you to get away. This is like, okay, I'm a, because I love Carl, I am going to put his needs above everybody else's because not, not only do I not know you that well, but you shot Carl. And this is what I'm saying. Like, I think that's what was going on through shame i don't know if i could if i would have been doing it like some people they have the fortitude to go ahead and do something like that take a human life to save themselves or to save somebody else whatever the situation is um i couldn't do that i don't i, I don't believe that if i was put in that very situation that i could have been and i don't think shane is okay with it i think it's bothering him a lot. I think it really is bothering him. So I'm not going to say it was, it, you know, it was bad what he did. Let's just be honest about it. Like it was bad. It was bad. So he should feel some sort of way about it. Like it was bad. Right. So we're moving on now. We know what's going on with, um, um, what's his name? Daryl. I think it's Daryl and, uh, Andrea, right? Some people was trying to get me to remember the names. I remember the names. Um, it's just that sometimes they slip me. Um, if you guys have not known what I what I've been going on, like when, like when I'm fresh, when I'm refreshed, you know, it's easier for me to remember things when I'm refreshed. But when my brain is overloaded with so many things that are going on in my life, like I tend to forget things, right? Which is 
maybe not the same for everybody, but for me, I know that about myself. It's like, and that's why I compartmentalize so much with, with stuff that happens in my life, because if it's not, if it's not super important, like I'm not going to be, I'm not going to stress over remembering certain things like the characters of, you know, a TV show, like it has to happen over time. Like some of these characters, like in the moment, sometimes I can't re um, recollect the, the name, but trust and believe that, you know, I will remember eventually. Sometimes it's right after I finish the review. I'm like, oh, shit, that's, that's, that was the name. You know what I'm saying? So because now I'm trying to to bring it back to memory. Actually, like in the moment when I'm doing the review, I don't want to sit here doing uh, 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 uh. So that's why I just continue and just go through the review because I don't want to be doing that because that would be annoying. You get what I'm saying? Um, I know it's kind of annoying that I forget the names because um, it's a TV show. You guys are watching it with me and it's, it's kind of annoying for you every time I forget a name. And that's why I constantly apologize about it because, hey, it is what it is. So... Andrea, T Dog, the black guy. We got um Daryl, right? So them two went to go look for look for the little girl. They didn't find her. Her name is Sophia, right? Um They still didn't find her. They're hoping that she comes back at some point. So now we're moving on to the fact that hopefully they can operate successfully to save Carl um, now that they have the medical equipment to do it and he can go on the uh, anesthesia and all of this other good stuff right so we're gonna jump into this episode man no more time wasting hope you guys enjoy the episode link is down in the description for the full reaction go ahead check out a full reaction as you guys know I cannot post this stuff on YouTube for for anything every time I try to upload a, a, a Walking Dead video or Peaky Blinders video, anything, they immediately get blocked. If they don't get blocked everywhere, they get blocked in in like 300 countries. So what's the sense? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So um, some people, they don't like the fact that I do full reactions, but it is what it is at this point. Like I'm not going to cut up, cut up the videos to put on an outside source. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's a lot more time. It takes a lot more times to edit and do all of that, all of that good stuff, and then go put it on somewhere else. So I'd rather just upload the whole thing, and you guys just in, in, enjoy it that way. Some people, most people, prefer full reactions, anyways. It's just a um, specific few that don't like the full reaction. So it's it's you know it's okay if you can't if you don't like the full reactions, that's that's fine. You can skip through. You can skip through. Um, what I probably do is I don't know because you can't do that on a Google Drive. It would be nice if I could give you guys time stamps, time stamps for the Google Drive where you can just go to to see my reaction to a specific scene if you want it that way. So I'm gonna try to make everybody happy. I'm gonna try, even though I know I can't. I'm going to try. That's you know, you gotta make effort somewhere. So, let's jump into this episode, man. I'll see you guys for the review. All right. So, we are back here for the review. Season 2, Episode 4 of The Walking Dead, man. That episode is very slow-paced, but I love the pace, though. Um, I love the pace. They took their time to develop whatever scenes that were there. They spent enough time. I just think that there, um, there was a huge waste of time. That whole thing with the zombie was a huge waste of time. They could have... That whole thing was... It turned out to be a huge failure. Um, I didn't see the use of them trying to get the zombie out. Um, even if they got the zombie out, wouldn't, shouldn't the water still be considered contaminated? That's what I'm trying to say. You know what I mean? And then the whole, uh, 
even just thinking about it, man, makes my skin crawl, bro. Like, that shit was nasty. Nasty, man. But, as I said, it, will, it could be counted as a wasted scene. They could have done something way better with that scene. Um, but, it is what it is. Um, still enjoyed it in a weird way. So, Glenn got some from the girl he likes. Um... <laughs> It was so weird, like, n I mean, and they chose to have sex naked, mind you, um, out there in the open, a, 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 a solo walker could come in and just see them, you know what I'm saying, catch them off guard, like, that's not something I'm doing, I'm not, no, <laughs> I don't, I don't think it was a safe area, you know what I'm saying, like, you got to kind of do that, like, around camp somewhere. Like, they could have went somewhere on the property and do that without anybody knowing. You know what I mean? Um, so, them going out to, together like that and doing that, that was very risky. But they got back safe. Um, Glenn's feeling some sort of way because maybe he didn't perform good, <laughs> good enough. Because it seems, it kind of seems like that. I, or... Or she, or she just, you know, was lonely for a moment. She let her guard down. I don't know what the situation is or why she said what she said. No man really wants to hear that. You know what I mean? And the thing about the thing about him is that he was getting way too happy. <laughs> and that's the thing. Like, you can't, even though she gave you some, you can't seem too, too, ha too happy. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was was too much smiling going on so he was making it kind of weird so but at the same time uh, uh you know they liked each other so it, it was fine now the situation with them being there for a long time it's a good place to be it's a big property they could see walkers coming you know what i'm saying they, they are still camped outside in tents and stuff so they're not really in the house with um herschel so it's um for all intent and purposes, this episode was a good one when it comes on to the pacing of the episode, everything they talked about um, leading up to her taking the pregnancy test, find out she's pregnant. Now, my, my stance on that, you guys already know. Like, I think she should have told Rick a long time ago that this was going down. It would have, I think, things would have blown over already. You get what I'm saying? Now that we're in season two and this, this when did Rick come back? Rick found them in like midway, like midway through the first season. So it was, so it's like at this point, I think things would have blown over. Maybe the, a small amount of animosity Rick would have had towards Shane. Um, but at this point is like, it's a secret now and it's going to come out one way or the other because, um, I mean, still, she could still play it off and say, and say, it's Rick's kid, but then Shane is going to be wondering, is that my kid? You get what I'm saying? And then that's going to cause another set of problems. So we have, you know what I'm saying? And Andrea, she's still up in arms about guns. So Shane is teaching her about guns, right? I'm really happy that Daryl did what he did. I'm really happy for that. Like that, that was real character development because you know he can come off like an asshole but he actually cares about people so so comforting sophia's mom was pretty cool in in some sort of way i'm still kind of surprised they can't find her though you know what i'm saying like like that's baffling me how they can't find her they, they still can't find her so i'm still trying to figure out i'm still in my head i'm trying to figure out where could she be you know um it's about time they found her. Is, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's either we need, we need to know she's dead or or she's found. Like, this story, this part of the story is, is just taking too long to, to give us some sort of conclusion to it. You know what I'm saying? So, they're still looking for her. Um, I want them to keep looking for her. Um, now they have a map so they know, exa you know, kind of an idea of where to go to look for her where she could possibly be 
Um, so yeah, it's pretty good, cool, pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff. So this episode, as I said, it's more of just their living conditions, really. There was no trouble or anything like that. It's just more of just what the characters are going through at the moment was kind of expounded on. So this was definitely like a nine out of nine out of ten episode. Definitely, definitely, definitely. So um so this it was cool. Next episode, hoping hopefully I can get the next episode out on Friday. So this one is gonna come out late tonight as I told you guys in that um update video I did yesterday that I was gonna be recording this on the day it's coming out so it'll be coming out later tonight. So Thank you guys for watching as always. Just remember, you are Terror Squad. I am Terabyte Reacts. And remember to subscribe, like, and comment under this video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. It's your boy. Peace.